Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another very interesting problem from the JE main test and it deals with electricity and magnetism, in specific the energy stored in an inductor. So let's read it together. A coil of inductance of two Henrys having negligible resistance is connected to a voltage source whose voltage is given by V equals 3T volt where T is in seconds. If the voltage is applied when t equals zero, then the energy stored in the coil after four seconds is, and we're looking for a value, probably an energy value. All right, so what are we dealing with here? We're dealing with an inductor, and we want to know the energy in that inductor after four seconds, after charge has been flowing through the inductor, and so you should know the equation that the energy stored in inductor is one half times the inductance times the current squared. So we're given the inductance, we don't know the current. We're supposed to know the current after four seconds. So then we need to know a second equation. The second equation is that the voltage across an inductor is equal to, uh, let's see here, L times di dt. The rate of change of the current with respect to time multiplied times inductance gives us the voltage across the inductor. So how do we get the current out of this? Well, we can set up an equation. We can say that di, if we solve for di, is equal to uh, V over L times dt. Now remember that V was defined as 3t, so we can say that di is equal to 3t dt over L. And that we can integrate. We can integrate both sides. And we can therefore say that I is equal to 3t squared over 2 times L. And so now we have a relationship between the current, the time, and the inductance. So now what we can do is we can find the current after 4 seconds. So I, when t is equal to 4, is equal to 3 times. 4 squared divided by 2 times the inductance, which is 2. So this would be 4 squared divided by 4, so that would be 3 times 4, which is 12. And of course, that would be in terms of amps. So 12 amps of current after 4 seconds. So now all we have to do now to find the energy in the inductor is U is equal to 1 half li squared, so in this case that's one half times l which is 2 times i squared which is 12 squared. This cancels out, 12 squared is 144, so it would be 144 joules, which is what we're looking for over here. And that is how we find the energy stored in the inductor after 4 seconds. So you can see that this is relatively straightforward. Again, if you remember the two equations, that the energy in inductor is one half Li squared, and that the voltage across the inductor is equal to L times the rate of change of the current with respect to time. If you know those two equations, the rest is pretty straightforward, and that is how it's done.